precious love is this, O oh my soul, O oh my soul. What wondrous love is this, O oh my soul? What wondrous love is this that caused the Lord of bliss to bear the dreadful curse for my soul, for my soul, to bear the dreadful curse for my soul. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. See, my servant shall prosper. He shall be raised high and greatly exalted. Even as many were amazed at him, so marred was his look beyond human semblance, and his appearance beyond that of the sons of man. So shall he startle many nations. Because of him, kings shall stand speechless. For those who have not been told shall see, those who have not heard shall ponder it. Who would believe what they have heard? To whom has the arm of the Lord been revealed? He grew up like a sapling before him, like a shoot from the parched earth. There was in him no stately bearing to make us look at him nor appearance that would attract us to him. He was spurned and avoided by people, a man of suffering, accustomed to infirmity. One of those from whom people hide their faces, spurned, and we held him in no esteem. Yet it was our infirmities that he bore, our sufferings that he endured. While we thought of him as stricken, as one smitten by God and afflicted. But he was pierced, for our offenses, crushed for our sins. Upon him was the chastisement that makes us whole. By his stripes we were healed. We had all gone astray like sheep, each following his own way. But the Lord laid upon him the guilt of us all. Though he was harshly treated, he submitted and opened not his mouth. Like a lamb led to the slaughter, or a sheep before the shearers, he was silent and opened not his mouth. Oppressed and condemned, he was taken away. And who would have thought any more of his destiny? When he was cut off from the land of the living and smitten for the sins of his people. A grave was assigned him among the wicked and a burial place with evildoers, though he had done no wrong nor spoken any falsehood. But the Lord was pleased to crush him in infirmity. If he gives his life as an offering for sin, he shall see his descendants in a long life. And the will of the Lord shall be accomplished through him. Because of his affliction, we shall see the fullness of life in his days. Through his suffering, my servant shall justify many, and their guilt he shall bear. Therefore, I will give him his portion among the great, and he shall divide the spoils with the mighty. Because he surrendered himself to death, it was counted among the wicked. And he shall take away the sins of many, and win pardon for their offenses. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. And when from death I'm free, I'll sing on, I'll sing on. And when from death I'm free, I'll sing on. And when from death I'm free, joyful be and through eternity I'll sing on I'll sing on and through eternity I'll sing on God of power and mercy in love you sent your son that we might be cleansed of sin and live with you forever bless us as we gather to reflect on his suffering and death that we may learn from his example the way we should go. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The first station, Jesus in the Garden of Gethsemane. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because, because by your holy cross, cross you, have you have redeemed the world. Then Jesus came with them to a place called Gethsemane, and he said to them, 
sit here while I go over there and pray. And he took with him Peter and the two sons of Zebedee. And he began to feel sorrow and distress. Then he said to them, My soul is sorrowful even unto death. Remain here and keep watch with me. Then he advanced a little and fell prostrate in prayer, saying, My father, if it is possible, let this cup pass from me. But not my will be done, but yours. Then, returning to his disciples, he found them asleep. He said to Peter, So you could not keep watch with me for an hour. Watch and pray, then, that you may not undergo the test. The spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. Lord, grant us your strength and wisdom, that we may seek to follow your will in all things. The second station, Jesus, betrayed by Judas, is arrested. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because of your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. Then, while Jesus was still speaking, Judas, one of the twelve, arrived, accompanied by a crowd with swords and clubs, who had come from the chief priests, the scribes, and the elders. His betrayer had arranged a signal with them, saying, the man I shall kiss is the one. Arrest him and lead him away securely. He came and immediately went over to him and said, Rabbi, and he kissed him. At this, they laid hands on him and arrested him. Lord, grant us the courage of our convictions that our lives may faithfully reflect the good news that you bring. Jesus, remember me. When you come into your kingdom, Jesus, remember me. When you come into your kingdom. The third station, Jesus is condemned by the Sanhedrin. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross, you have, you have redeemed the world. When day came, the council of elders of the people met, both chief priests and scribes and they brought him before their Sanhedrin. They said, if you are the Messiah, tell us. But he replied to them, if I tell you, you will not believe. And if I question, you will not respond. But from this time on, the Son of Man will be seated at the right hand of the power of God. They all asked, are you then the Son of God? He replied to them, you say that I am. Then they said, what further need do we have for testimony? We have heard it from his own mouth. Lord, grant us your sense of righteousness, that we may never cease to work to bring about the justice of the kingdom that you promised. The fourth station, Jesus is denied by Peter. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. Now Peter was sitting outside in the courtyard. One of the maids came over to him and said, You too were with Jesus the Galilean. But he denied it in front of everyone, saying, I do not know what you are talking about. As he went out to the gate, another girl saw him and said to those who were there, This man was with Jesus the Nazarene. Again, he denied it with an oath. I do not know the man. A little later, the bystander came over and said to Peter, Surely you too are one of them. Even your speech gives you away. At that, he began to curse and swear, I do not know the man. And immediately, a cock crowed. Then Peter remembered the word that Jesus had spoken. Before the cock crows, you will deny me three times. He went out and began to weep. Lord, grant us the gift of honesty, that we may not fear to speak the truth, even when it may be difficult. The fifth station, Jesus is judged by Pilate. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. The chief priests, with the elders and the scribes, that is, the whole Sanhedrin held a council. They bound Jesus, led him away, and handed him over to Pilate. 
Pilate questioned him, Are you the king of the Jews? He said to him in reply, You say so. The chief priest accused him of many things. Again, Pilate questioned him, Have you no answer? See how many things they accuse you of. Jesus gave him no further answer, so that Pilate was amazed. Pilate, wishing to satisfy the crowd, released Barabbas and handed Jesus over to be crucified. Lord, grant us discernment that we may see as you see, not as the world sees. The sixth station, Jesus is scourged and crowned with thorns. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. Then Pilate took Jesus and had him scourged. And the soldiers wove a crown out of thorns and placed it on his head and clothed him in a purple cloak. And they came to him and said, Hail, King of the Jews. And they struck him repeatedly. Lord, grant us patience in times of suffering, that we may offer our lives as a sacrifice of praise. The seventh station, Jesus bears the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because, because by your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. When the chief priests and the guards saw Jesus, they cried out, Crucify him! Crucify him! Pilate said to them, Take him yourselves and crucify him. I find no guilt in him. They cried out, Take him away! Take him away! Crucify him! Pilate said to them, Shall I crucify your king? The chief priests answered, We have no king but Caesar. Then he handed him over to them to be crucified. So they took Jesus, and carrying the cross, himself he went out to what is called the place of the skull, in Hebrew, Golgotha. Lord, grant us strength of purpose, that we may faithfully bear our crosses each day. Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. The eighth station, Simon the Cyrenian helps Jesus carry the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. They pressed into service a passerby, Simon the Cyrenian, who was coming in from the country father of Alexander and Rufus, to carry his cross. Lord, grant us willing spirits that we may be your instruments on earth. The ninth station, Jesus meets the women of Jerusalem. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. A large crowd of people followed Jesus, including many women who mourned and lamented him. Jesus turned to them and said, Daughters of Jerusalem, do not weep for me. Weep instead for yourselves and for your children. For indeed the days are coming when people will say, Blessed are the barren, the wombs that never bore, and the breasts that never nursed. At that time people will say to the mountains, Fall upon us, and to the hills, cover us. For if these things are done when the wood is green, what will happen when it is dry? Lord, grant us gentle spirits, that we may comfort those who mourn. The tenth station, Jesus is crucified. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross, 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 you have redeemed the world. When they came to the place called the Skull, they crucified him and the criminals there, one on his right and the other on his left. Then Jesus said, Father, forgive them. They know not what they do. Lord, grant us merciful hearts that we may bring your reconciliation and forgiveness to all. The eleventh station. Jesus promises his kingdom to the good thief. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. Now one of the criminals hanging there reviled Jesus, saying, Are you not the Messiah? Save yourself and us. The other, however, rebuking him, said in reply, Have you no fear of God, 
for you are subject to the same condemnation. And indeed, we have been condemned justly for the sentence we received corresponds to our crime. But this man has done nothing criminal. Then he said, Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. He replied to him, Amen, I say to you, today you will be with me in paradise. Lord, grant us perseverance that we may never stop seeking you. The Twelfth Station, Jesus Speak, Mother and the Disciple. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. Standing by the cross of Jesus were his mother and his mother's sister, Mary the wife of Clopas and Mary of Magdala. When Jesus saw his mother and the disciple there whom he loved, he said to his mother, Woman, behold your son. Then he said to the disciple, Behold your mother. And from that hour the disciple took her to his home. Lord, grant us constancy that we may be willing to stand by those in need. The thirteenth station, Jesus dies on the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. It was now about noon, and darkness came over the whole land until three in the afternoon, because of an eclipse of the sun. Then the veil of the temple was torn down the middle. Jesus cried out in a loud voice, Father, into your hands I commend my spirit. And when he had said this, he breathed his last. Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. Lord, grant us trust in you, that when our time on earth has ended, our spirits may come to you without delay. The 14th station, Jesus is placed in the tomb. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. When it was evening, there came a rich man from Arimathea named Joseph, who was himself a disciple of Jesus. He went to Pilate and asked for the body of Jesus. Then Pilate ordered it to be handed over. Taking the body, Joseph wrapped it in clean linen and laid it in the new tomb that he had hewn in the rock. Then he rolled a huge stone across the entrance to the tomb and departed. Lord, grant us your compassion, that we may always provide for those in need. Lord Jesus Christ, your passion and death is the sacrifice that unites earth and heaven and reconciles all people to you. May we, who have faithfully reflected on these mysteries, follow in your steps and so come to share your glory in heaven, where you live and reign with the Father and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever.
Holy Virgin of Guadalupe, Queen of the Angels and Mother of the Americas, we fly to you today as your beloved children. We ask you to intercede for us with your Son, as you did at the wedding in Cana. Pray for us, loving Mother, and gain for our nation and world, and for all our families and loved ones, the protection of your holy angels, that we may be spared the worst of this illness. For those already afflicted, we ask you to obtain the grace of healing and deliverance. Hear the cries of those who are vulnerable and fearful. Wipe away their tears and help them to trust. In this time of trial and testing, teach all of us in the church to love one another and to be patient and kind. Help us to bring the peace of Jesus to our land and to our hearts. We come to you with confidence knowing that you truly are our compassionate mother, health of the sick and cause of our joy. Shelter us under the mantle of your protection. Keep us in the embrace of your arms. Help us always to know the love of your son, Jesus. Amen. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. we were people afraid lost in the 